This video is meant to introduce the contents of the SFP200 kit and how to get started with it. To start out, we have the SFP200 module, which you should see in a bubble wrap. Next up, we have the FTDI cable, which also should show up in its original packaging. Then you should also receive the cable that goes from the SFP to the SCD and the SCD itself. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to connect the SFP200 to an example circuit to show off its functionality. To start off, again, we have the SFP200 module. We connect the cable to the SFP200 module. Notice how black is on the left side and red is on the other side. Next, we take the cable and we connect it to the SCD. Lastly, we take the FTDI cable, unwind it, take the end of the FTDI cable, note which cable is black, that indicates pin 1. We'll look at the SCD and you'll find that one of the labels says ground, so black goes to ground. Now we take the FTDI cable and we connect it to the host, in this case a laptop. Now that we have the SFP200 connected to the host, we'll show off its current measurement functionality. So we have our current source, we have our positive and negative terminals from the current source. We connect the positive to the positive side of the shunt, and we connect the negative to the negative side of the shunt. And now we will show the current measurement. Right now there's no current flowing through it, which is why it's zero. Once we pass some current through it, the GUI will update and show how much current is flowing through the SFP200. Now I will show off the voltage measurement functionality of the SFP200. To get started, you need a cable. Uh, we do not provide this currently in the SFP200 evaluation kit, but you can find the part number of the connector on the SFP200 documentation available at sendai.com. Now to get started, you connect the, the voltage cable to one of the voltage inputs. We have three high voltage inputs. For demonstration purposes, it doesn't matter which one you plug it in. Now we take the positive side of the voltage input to our voltage source, in this case, the positive terminal from the power supply. Next. We, connect, we grab the negative cable from our voltage source and we connect it to the negative side of the terminal. We turn on our power supply and we turn on the GUI. As you can see, we're reading a voltage. This was a quick start guide demonstrating the functionality of voltage and current measurement for the SFP200. The SFP200 kit is available for purchase online at www.sendine.com. Thanks for watching.